Hey everyone, welcome to Jira administration training. This training will specifically focus on the Jira cloud administration and I'm going to cover Jira cloud administration right from very basic concepts. So if you're absolute beginner to Jira administration or even Jira itself, you will be able to grasp all the concepts, how the cloud sites, the cloud or everything works within Jira. We'll start from very basic, build the concepts, we'll do the practical side by side will do some of the assignment side by side and then keep building our skills further on so that in future if you want to apply for Jira administration jobs or you want to go ahead and attempt for the certification Jira administration certification you can go ahead and do that so before I go ahead and start I would like to mention that Jira is available free for up to 10 users right so learning from this course you will get or you can sign up for Jira very easily so what you have to do is you, you simply have to go Go and here uh, on the Atlassian website if you go you can simply go ahead get started right so choose any product right so we are going to work with Jira administra and administration so we'll choose Jira so you simply get started and then you will see that you just have to provide your email using your Google account or Microsoft Apple any of the account you can go ahead and sign up it's free for up to 10 users no credit card is needed right so make sure you sign up because only then you will be able to follow the whole course okay so now if I go ahead and explain you about the basics of the, the very first thing when we say Jira administration. So we need to understand a little bit of hierarchy of what exactly is Jira administrator, right? Who exactly is that person? What you will be doing? So from that perspective, if say for example, you will go ahead and here you will sign up, right? So you will have to choose a product and you will basically land up somewhere here. Now, this is one of the site, right? So rcvacademy-au.atlassian.net, this is one of the site which has some of the products. Now, when we talk about the Jira administrator, we have to also understand what all other roles are there, right? For example, if you go ahead in the right hand side, you'll see that I have the Atlassian admin, okay, wherein user management, billing, etc. is there okay then i have this jira settings and the personal settings okay so what exactly all these means now when we talk about atlassian admin okay so if i go ahead and click on user management or billing it will take you to the admin dot atlassian.net uh, atlassian.com right so what exactly happens here is you can go ahead and administer the different websites basically the sites that are available there okay in in a particular organization so when we talk about the organization let me quickly go you and show you um how this whole structure works okay so org when we say organization so for example if we talk about organization right so our cv academy is an organization okay just as now within this organization this is global right so global for example ibm okay ibm global right similar rcv global now below that there are different different countries where different websites are there similarly in Jira when we say org admin okay then that person or the organization admin is the person who manages the complete organization in terms of Jira right so Jira organization admin for example if IBM buys Jira license and IBM wants to deploy Jira de deploy Jira sites or have Jira sites for different local locations then there will be somebody who will be having a global org level admin so that's the IBM global org level admin for Jira right so that's the org admin okay that's the organization and anyone who is managing that organization will be administering or organization admin now below this organization you can have different sites right so for example I can have a team sitting in India okay a team sitting in US a team sitting in UK okay and a team sitting in Singapore right okay so each of these teams might need some products within those particular Jira sites so for example India is a development team right so they might need Jira software confluence okay and some other products US they might need Jira software confluence and some other products right UK is just confluence for example right so these are different products that can be associated against the site 
can be installed against the site that is specific to a particular location right so a global uh, organization is the company the root root level right so the company the global then within jira within atlassian you can have different sites based on the location or based on the team you can create depending on what what exactly you want to achieve and then you can associate different products to those sites so that's the overall high level hierarchy okay of the organization and the sites right so organization and the sites so now if i go back here on the overview page here okay you'll see that this is basically i'm in the admin.atlassian.net and this is rcv academy global right now here you will see only one site is there which is basically rcv academy hyphen au.atlassian.net so any australian users or any team that i have in australia can be added here and they'll have jira access right so i can go ahead and add the users into this particular site right now if say for example i go back to products okay how can i add more sites okay so i can go and say add product so you can see basically that how the sites will look like right so i say okay i have a team in india i want to add a product jira and i'll go ahead and select and then it will ask me the site name okay and this is happening from the admin.atlassian.com so by default when you sign up for the jira account first time it asks you the the site by default and creates the organization level admin in the background unless you come here and see at, at admin.atlassian.com when you come to the billing and section you will go and see that administration part uh, and then you can keep adding new sites right so i'll say okay rcv academy in okay dot atlassian.net okay and you have a new site or you can add to an existing site so basically when you add a product you can create a new site or you can add to an existing site right so because the atlassian has many many products so you can do whatever you want depending on the need of the product in a particular site so i'm creating a new site i'll say agree and add and a new site rcv academy hyphen in dot atlassian.net will get created and jira software that we have chosen will get associated to that particular site right so i'll say okay this is for project management so for example i'll quickly choose the template in there and the site will get prepared right which is specific to a particular team a particular location and has a specific product so instead of having every member or in a in one particular site you can based on geography based on the function you can create different sites and add specific products and users to those particular sites okay okay so you'll see that i think in the background that has happened so if i go to the rcv academy global i should should be able to see all the product and where those products are associated right so rcv academy hyphen in so it creates a jira administration uh, against that that particular site and then adds a product against that particular site so hyphen in and hyphen au and the products against that i can add more products against a particular site okay so that's a global so basically at the organization level and the sites now what are the key roles basically right so when we talk about the roles that are relevant that you need to understand so the organization admin the role that i am doing at the moment this is organization admin if you'll see in the right hand side or any of the site if you go on the cog wheel and you see that atlassian admin option is available that's the organization admin you have access to the organization admin level but this is very rare that in bigger organization you will be having that but for learning obviously you'll be having all of that once you sign up for jira okay org admin will also look for the billing adding users group access requests etc all of that will be look for that then there is a project uh, there is a product admin when we say product admin product admin are the people People who manage the product in a particular site right so for example a jira administration uh, or a jira administrator is a product administrator okay and then we talk about the project admin so within the project for example in a particular site there is a particular project and a person who is managing that specific project is a project administrator okay so these are three key aspects that you need to understand so organization admin then product admin is the jira administration administrator who will manage the products within the particular site and then project administrator is a specific project administrator for example within jira there will be multiple projects now project a will be managed by one particular person or project b managed by second person right so those are the people a person managing a specific project is a project admin now moving further the other important aspect of what exactly when we say you know what the what is jira administrator's role okay 
Now, the Jira administrator's role specifically, it could it could be, you know, like overlapping with the organization admin as well, but not necessarily. So Jira administrator will manage the global settings and global permissions, the products for the particular site. OK, what exactly those products are, they will manage the access to the system, to the softwares, to the products, right? They will configure and manage the project schemes. So all of that will be managed by the Jira administrator. So when we talk about the Jira administrator training, we are basically sticking to a particular site and then what all a Jira administrator is going to do in a particular site. So if you talk about what a Jira admin, so if how to identify whether you have the Jira admin privileges in the right hand side on the cog wheel, right? If you see the personal settings, personal settings, you will all see whosoever is onboarded to the Jira software. Okay. You will see the personal settings in there. If you have access to the Jira instance below that, if you see Jira settings, that means you have the Jira admin privileges privileges okay so you have system product you can manage system the products and these are all the things that we are going to learn as part of this course okay so you can manage products issues uh, projects products uh, you can configure workflows schemes etc so all of that is jira administrator administrator job now if you see more than that basically atlassian admin as well that means you are also the org admin so you are org admin that means you can add new sites and then you can also add products so when org admin is the highest level access wherein you can manage almost everything and then Jira admin will be specific to the Jira site and if you see Jira settings in there that means you are a Jira administrator and you can go ahead and manage the product schemes, system projects etc okay so this is the highest level that you are seeing in terms of access if you don't see Atlassian admin for you but you see the Jira settings that means in your organization you are the Jira administrator okay and then there are other schemes and permission schemes that can be applied as well which is granular granular uh, level which we'll understand as we go along with the course okay so that's all for this particular video i hope you are excited on this journey to learn jira administration i'm very excited to learn along with you as i go ahead and teach so make sure you sign up for the account and then we will go ahead practice not only learn through the videos but we'll also do hands-on and do the exercises as we go along so i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching see you in the next lecture